honor it is to have Dame Doria Cordova joining me today on Cash In on Camera because we are going to talk about a very important topic, which is wealth. How do you gain wealth in your life and in your business? Doria, what a pleasure to have you on. And I love that you talk so much about this in your new book, Access to Cash. We're going to dive deep into that today. But what a pleasure to have you from your home in on Maui. Yes, our little cottage on Maui. I call it Enchanted Cottage on the slopes of the Haleakala Mountains. So usually you have me from San Diego. Today we are on Maui. So aloha, early morning. <laughs> aloha. So great to have you. Doria, I've known you for, gosh, I want to say a little over a year or so now. And you are someone who has been instrumental in introducing me to some very new concepts. And one of the most recent concepts that you introduced me to is through your book, Access to Cash, which I encourage everyone to get because it's so fundamental in helping us as entrepreneurs to really think about wealth in a different way. And you, I know, so Doria you know, owns a variety of different businesses. She is a global business developer, but she also owns Accelerated Business Schools and the Money and You programs. And she has worked with people worldwide and she's just so well connected. So I'm just honored to have you on. Thank but I want to dive into uh, what you talk about in especially the first part of the book, because you break down the the differences in a like, cash money versus indirect forms of 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 money and um and then you sort of go into indirect fully indirect forms of of money. I yes. really want you to break this down for us because it just really pertains a lot to I think where people are going in the next year after everything that we've gone through. We have to have a better definition of what it means to be able to access cash. So, can you walk us through those three and I'm going to bring it up on the screen so that we can all follow along. Um, but you talk about direct examples of cash money. So we know this, right? Dollars, bills, coins, that sort of thing. It's pretty, like you said, well known um, in the world. And yes. most people focus on this. But then we start getting into something I think more interesting, which is the slightly indirect examples. Can you walk us through that? So very quickly, I want to make sure that these are not concepts. Concepts are things that people are thinking about and they're like theory. These are actual um, these are in many ways principles. These have been proven over and over and over again for a long, long time. So let's get very clear that these things are absolute, they can happen if you have the discipline and apply the principles. So, so these slightly indirect uh, examples are like things that you invest in, precious metals, you know, rare stones, stock certificates, bond, real estate, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, right? So, but what all of these are taking us into, the first one, the direct example is what my beautiful friend, who's now an angel, uh, Bernie Dorman of CEO Space, he used to say, now money now. These are things that we have now, that we need now, things to pay for bills and, and, you know, and, and to be able to have a good life. Then we begin to move into something that most of the population around the world doesn't understand, and that is leverage. That's when we're not moving. And they are called, and, and beautiful David Fagan was the person that, you know, helped me um, and, you know, curate this book, you know, put it together from all my different thinking. And it has to do with leverage. So every day you have to get up in the morning. And of course, what are the things that you need to do for now, money now? And you have to think about the future, things that are going to pan out later, like a year or five years later. And that is the challenge with most people that are constantly, constantly living from paycheck to paycheck. Number one, you know, you know how crazy I am trans about transforming educational systems. And my old partner, Kiyosaki, who we were business partners for nine years, and he wrote the first book, the first book called, uh, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, was based on the teachings of our Money and You program, the business school. And that one hit a, a chord because for so many people around the world because they knew that they weren't well educated. And then the third example 
is definitely connected to like what you do, which is to create artifacts, to create um, all the, all the, to uh, you have to create a toolbox and, and you have to have a toolbox for self mastery. And you also have to have a toolbox for how the world sees you, how the, how the world experiences you, because you actually see that a lot in the regular world. The reason why infomercials work so well is that people can then connect with someone and they can see them, but those people have been trained so well they have you know they have practice they have the right lighting they have something to show which of course is what is your expertise and that's why whenever you invite me i'm willing to come and and be with you because you are an expert that can support people in creating a toolbox of what is needed for them to create more trust more exposure more influence and you know they most people haven't been around for 42 years like i have been being a business owner a ceo and most of you have never heard of me and that's because i'm the power behind the power i have been in the background and now i'm being pulled you know to the front and i'm going through the same process that every business owner needs to learn you know needs to do which is a lot of it has to do with me doing research and studying, you know, interviewing experts. Right now, I'm in the process of going through a sales. Uh, how do we get people and uh, to make it easy for the sales team? And for the, I have a business model of licensing, which is what I've been doing for the last 40 plus years. But now I'm moving into a different field, which is how to present myself to the world since I am an unknown. And so I have to go through the process and and maybe you can share a little bit of what are some of those tools that I and they need. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to just preface that the reason why I thought it was so important to have you on, uh, Doria, to talk about this is, uh, first of all, I love the whole book. And you share some very personal stories in the book that relate a lot to uh, your journey. And so that's why um, I really encourage people to, to get the book and to read the whole thing. We're just talking about a subset of it. And as you said, they're principles, but they're principles that if we can really uh, internalize them, we can understand that really, truly, you have access to more cash than you know. And, and that's the premise of today's conversation. You know, um, access to cash, you have it more than you think because it's networks, it's, um, it's team. It's, it's resources, um, experts, knowledge, all of these things that we have a tendency to either forget or don't really make a direct correlation to that being an, an, an accessibility that can really translate to wealth. We think of it as kind of disconnected. Money is money only. But what yes. I really believe is that especially as it pertains to, like you said, what I do, which is, you know, video marketing and content and planning and that sort of thing, that when I'm encouraging people to be seen and to cash in on camera and to be visible, what I'm really helping people to do is to access relationships, collaborations, joint ventures, yes. um, you know, uh, building their network and that the profitability can come from that in addition to selling the thing you sell. And that's well, what you sell it through all that. Yeah. You sell it through all the things that you just listed. I'm sorry. Go exactly. ahead. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, so, so uh, Doria, I, I know you are someone who's obviously very well connected. You've worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, Tony Robbins, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Jack Canfield, you know, these are people that you've worked with and who are friends of yours. And so you're super well connected. Um, what do you think, what is the best advice that you could give to entrepreneurs going into the next year? We're recording this in December of 2021. What could people do in 2022 to really position themselves for true wealth? Everything that we just covered. And so the new definition of wealth is to have access to cash, resources, networks, information, investors, investments, and people that can put you out in the world like you are doing with me right now. That is, you know, we met at the, you know, top talent mastermind, you know, David Fagan and Isabel, right? 
And then what happened was, and he helped me write that book. And that particular book, just so you know, is still a dollar ninety seven in uh, Amazon. And um, and then of course, if they go to that page, at the access to cashbook.com, you also will get a bonus. But one of the the reasons why I have it at that price through the holidays, particularly, is because I reached a, a global. Uh, you know, I, I have a huge global re reach and a dollar ninety seven is a lot of money in certain parts of the world. So one of the things that you need to understand as you go into 2022, particularly during the holidays, number one, if you're going to be with relatives and with friends, get into a conversation about money. What's going to happen is that you're probably going to be a bit surprised, particularly for those of you that never had it or those of you that cannot even have a conversation about money. I cannot really, I cannot do with my family, not really. And I adore them and I love them, but they are not the people that I talk about it because they only see me as a seven year old, right? They have no idea and, and they are not going to, and they're not gonna change their mind. And it's the same thing that happens around your friends. So the first thing you need to do is kind of like really get aware is self mastery. We are talking about a toolbox for self mastery and a toolbox for you to be able for the world to get to know you and how you are really showing up for them. So now what you want to do is you want to be very aware. And this is not just about goals because they are fantastic masters. And of course, I believe in goals. But I believe in goals for a different reason than most people do. And that is because I'm a student of Buckminster Fuller. So the reason why we have goals is so that we can head in a certain direction. But the precessional effects, the ripple effects of that, of going, being focused on something is actually, that is what really are the things that are going to create wealth for you. And that is what true wealth is. Money comes from doing all these endeavors. So what you want to do on a daily basis, do you have to be able to make a list of all your income generating activities for that day? And, and that could be three to five things. And then make another list of three to five things that are about future leverage. And that if, if that is too much, then do three for today and three for the future. Then you actually take action. You pick up the phone, you you do emails or text or WhatsApp or post in social media, whatever it is that you need to do, and then begin to train your audience. And here I'm stepping into your field. <laughs> begin to train your audience about who you really are. So there are people that invite me because I have a program for 42 years called Money and You, or I have written a book called Access to Cash, then they invite me sometimes for a completely different reason. And it takes very short time for everyone to know that I am about money and about creating an economic engine around your life purpose or around a beautiful product or service that you provide that is highly needed. But I also want people to go to moneyandyou.com and download for free a book called The Business Success Model. And uh, that, that is a gift that I give to everyone. And you need to create that success model. And that is what 2022, for many of you, you're going to create that because that, that is going to determine whether you're going to be a solopreneur or whether you're going to build an organization. So there are certain people that create a fantastic life and create wealth from being solo entrepreneur. Of course, there's no such thing because you always need to have a team, whether you pay that team or whether that's a team that, that like you're part of my team, Cheryl, because I learned from you. you we, are, we have aligned purposes, so we are in a team together to educate the world, to change the world, to make it better. That's a team. But then you need to understand that you may be someone that may want to create a whole economic engine that you own that you can sell later. Or what you can do is you can go ahead and be um, someone that is employed, but they have share profits. And by the way, those are some of our graduates because we've been around for so long, many 
of the people <laughs> got their start, like Tony Robbins we met when he was 23 years old. Wow. So what, what you have to do is you have to really have an understanding of what it is that you really want to do. Do you want to be, do you want to just, um, you know, be working for another person? And if you are, then you need to create new agreements. If you're going to have profit sharing, you know, there's a lot of people that work for another that is part of a, of a, of a team that are rich, not all employees just make a little money. There are uh, people in Apple, people when, and you know, that's a whole other conversation that we can have at another time. But the biggest thing for you in 2022 is to learn about the new definition of wealth. And, the, you know, for $1.97, you may want to read the book and read it along with your teams, with your family members and say, okay, how do we focus on income generating activities? How do we focus on access, accessing more of our own resources, contacts, networks? And then you begin to make lists, a list with all of your assets. What are all the things that you own? What are all the things that you have? And people mo have a lot more assets than they think they do until you put it in writing. That also includes being part of networks like Cheryl's network. Then, and it's when you itemize it. I think that's an important distinction yes, because yes. you have to write it down. You have to itemize the resources and the assets that you already have. And it's like anything. When you document that and when you itemize it and you look back at the list, you go, oh, I have more access to cash, more resources, more assets than I thought I did because I hadn't itemized it. You know, And so I think it's really key. And it's one of the things that I really learned from this book I mean, a dollar ninety-seven. It's 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 a must read. <laughs> I just can't. I you know I can't say more than that. It is a must read. And what I love about it, Doria, not only are you sharing uh, personal stories in there too, but it's just really, um, it's it's functional and it is accessible for people to action. Like it's it's stuff that you can put into action. The thing that I love about it, as it pertains to to content and perhaps a little bit more in the world that I live in, is that you know, we have this idea that things are so literal, right? It's like, okay, we were going to make money. And that if your definition of money is dollars and, and bills and coins, then yeah, you could reach some level of success that way. But if you truly want wealth, which I think is different, uh, then you're going to have to do the things that you talk about there is really think about um, slightly indirect and more indirect forms and using those, as you said, principles to be able to truly build that out, networks, people, teams. And it's just so exciting that you've put this all in a book because, and Thank it's an you. accessible book for people. It's, I think, this is why I wanted to bring you on. I thought if I could do anything to help you spread your message uh, to you. my Thank audience you. in some way, I wanted to do it. My last question for you, Doria, today is how does this work that you're doing help you to move your mission and your legacy in the world? Because you have such an amazing vision for what you want the world to look like. Can you speak to that a little bit? Well, for uh, I, had a, I had an epiphany when I was 27 years old, and, uh, and that's 44 years ago. And, um, and, and next year will be 45, that I really wanted to eradicate hunger and, and poverty on planet Earth. And the only, um, and you know, it's such a huge problem. And by the way, you want to have a huge vision because then everything else looks really small. And then it was like, how am I going to do it? Okay, so we have millions of people at the time. There weren't that many, but now we have millions and millions of people that are working on that. But what I needed to do through education and my mentors created the industry of entrepreneurial, experiential, transformational training industry that many people they're learning from all these masters and experts and they were the, the ogs they were the originals and one of the things that that i realized is that if i just put on programs and events where we could churn out and somebody said that word once and i said oh that's what we do we churn out social entrepreneurs that those people would then go to their sphere of influence to their markets they would create 
profitable businesses or foundations or nonprofits that would function really, really well. And we have so many examples of that. And then, you know, we would churn out people like Tony Robbins. And, and you know, of course, we were there at the very beginning. And he and his teams are responsible for the level of, of wealth and the level of influence that they now have had. But I absolutely, absolutely love the, the fact that he has influenced so many people to work in on themselves. And then, of course, you know, my business partnership with Kiyosaki for nine years allowed for us to be able to take my own business to a whole other level and for him to create his ideal partner, you know, somebody that like uh, Sharon Lecter to take him to a whole other level. So now you can see that you don't have to do everything. And so for me, this book is is going to allow for people to begin to understand what money really is. What, how do we create money? How do we create wealth? And then make sure once you start getting people's heads strained out around this, human beings are very, very smart. They're practical and they begin to figure it out. We just have to reach as many people as we can. And thank you so much. Cheryl for helping me with that and and because we poverty sucks it sucks for the person that is experiencing it for the people that are around it nobody wants to be around homeless people but they are there people are moving out in droves in places like Los Angeles San Diego because they don't want to see the homeless well let's do something about it what you know there are many many things that can be done and please don't tell me that things don't work because you just run up against somebody that will give you a lot of solutions and will introduce you to a lot of people that actually we have the systems in place to be able to make this world work for 100% of humanity through spontaneous cooperation in the shortest possible time without any ecological offense or the disadvantage of anyone. We don't have to step on people to be rich and wealthy, but see the difference. Rich is having stuff. Wealthy is actually a state of being and a beingness that you can be wealthy, even with not a lot of money, but then that energy will transform into true wealth. It's beautiful. Doria, thank you so much for coming on. Access to cashbook.com is a great place to go today and get your book with the bonuses that are available. And Doria, I can't thank you enough for putting this information in such an accessible form for me and for everyone watching this live or on the recorded on the recording. I think it's it's essential reading. And especially as we head through the next year and many years to come, entrepreneurs need to really take this to heart. So thank you so much for joining us from Maui today. Aloha, everyone. Have a beautiful life. <laughs> thank you, Doria.